Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap with Brackets website building tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. In our last video we put together this little section here, we added the buttons. In this video let's add a little sign up form. Just an inline little sign up section so people can get special deals and what have you. So if we open our bracket software, and for those of you that have not been following along, Brackets is a free text editor. It's great, and you can download it from a link below this video. And in this series of vid videos, we're using some extensions. So you just go to File and Extensions. It'll open it up here. And you can type in Bootstrap to find Bootstrap available extensions. The ones that we're going to actually use, main two that we've been using today, Bootstrap for snippets, or Bootstrap for snippets right there, and also RCH Bootstrap for snippets. And once you've got those installed, just click on the more info, it'll bring up their website. And there's a bunch of short codes here that we can use for building our site extremely quickly indeed. Okay, so back to our build. Let's go to our index HTML. I think the first thing we want to do is just give it a little more space on the bottom of these here. So I think I'll give those those buttons a bit of margin on the bottom just to push them down a little bit. So let's open our index HTML file. Let's get that out of the way. If you haven't been watching, again. Here's our website folder with our site files in it that we created from scratch. There's our index HTML file, which is what we'll be working on. And we created a custom CSS file, which is in this CSS folder. That's what we'll be working on there as well. If you're not using brackets, you can just open those two files with your text editor of choice. Okay, so let's add a bit of padding to those buttons there. So where are our buttons? Here's one, there's two, and there's three. So all I'm gonna do is add a, a, a margin rather than padding, because if we add padding to buttons, it'll just make them fatter or wider. So I'm gonna say margin bottom. Another great Bootstrap 4 feature here. Um, let's give it three and see what happens. I'll just do it to one for the moment. I will add it to them all that way when it reduces down for a smaller device. Let's just refresh that and it's given it a bit more. I think I'd like to see a little bit more than three there. Let's give it five, I think. Five is the maximum you can give it with these little margin classes here. Save that. Back to the site, refresh. There we go, that's gonna do nicely. So I'll just put that on the other buttons as well. And the reason I'm doing that is when it reduces down to a responsive site, if I just open our inspector with F12 and hit the responsive tab, and they're in line like that. If I don't put the margin on all of them like this, you see they've got a shorter space because I've got no margin there the first one I've got the margin on so it'll keep it consistent so I'll just close the responsive tab there and close out our inspector back to our brackets and let's just put this margin bottom MB5 on the other buttons so I'm just going to copy it and put it in the button classes here okay so that's all saved we've done that now let's just drop down a couple, create a new section. And once you create that first one, it'll create a nice little closing one for you. And we'll put a container inside there. The reason we're going to create a section here is because I want to have it a different color from our white one. So let's just tab across and create a container, a div, and we'll give it the class equals container. 
that means if I had gone container fluid, it would be all the way across, but a container will constrain it within the website. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a moment. Okay, so we've got a section and we've got a container. Now we want to call our section something. Let's just give it the class. Later on, I'll, I'll explain IDs to you as well, but we don't need to use that right now. And a class equal, let's call it specials because it's going to be a sign up form for our specials. All right, so we've got a class of specials and we've got a class of container. Now here comes the clever bit. I'm just going to add a column of 12, which is a full width column. And within that, I'm going to add an inline form. Now it used to take forever to do this, but with these short codes that we've got here, it's really quick. And if we open our Bootstrap 4 snippets from our extension manager just now, if we scroll down, we can just add Bootstrap 4 column of 12 by simply typing in BS4 col 12. So let's do that. So we've got a, a 12 column and a 12 column stretches all the way along. Just tidy this up. Okay, so we've got a column there and inside let's put a form. And I want an inline form. And using the same website, if we just scroll down a little bit, they got some short codes for our forms. There we are. And I want an inline, so BS4 inline. BS4 form inline, I should say. There it is. And that's instantly put that in there. I've had to type out so many of these in the past, you would not believe it how quickly it does that. Saves so much time. Let's just tidy this up. Shift tab to back it up one. All right, let's see what we got there. That's not gonna look like very much at the moment, but it's the basis of, of what we want. So let's save and go back to our site. Now when I scroll down, there's our little form there. It's put it in line for us. Like I say, it doesn't look like much, but let's give it a bit of styling. And what I want to do, I want to have a dark background. So here's our basic container is from about here to here. And within it is 12 columns. So that, that was a row that we just did that's inside there. And a fluid container would stretch all the way but also our section stretches all the way. So let's give our section a background color. And to do that, let's go to our CSS. We want to remember our section is called specials. So we want to tell that section specials what color we want the background to be. So let's go to our custom CSS. We'll start a new section, let's give it a title forward slash star star forward slash and give it a name I'll just call it specials I want to give our special section so let's target that dot or period specials open and close some curly brackets and we want to make it a dark gray. I know that I've, I've got a dark gray color in mind, which is 2B, 2B, 2B. I call it the Shakespeare dark background, to be or not to be. So background color, background, colon, hashtag, and our color, which is 2B, 2B, 2B. 
Oh, I know that's a dark grey, that's what I want to use there. And let's give our section, I don't know, 50 pixels top and bottom padding. So um, 50 pixels. If you put one attribute there, it's going to give it 50 pixels top, bottom, top, bottom, left and right. If you give it two attributes, the first one will be top and bottom. Let's give it 20 pixels. So the first one will be top and bottom and the next one will be left and right. Make sure we put a semicolon after it. Okay, let's save that and see what we've got. Control S, back to our site and refresh. And that should give us a dark section all the way across with our little form in between. And scroll down, there it is, just what we were looking for. Okay, we need to say something about this form, so we want to add a bit of text here, which will push this over to the right some. And I want to change the actual button that we've got there. And also, looks like, yeah, we've got some, we've got uh, some labels in between there that we can get rid of. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to our index HTML file. And just above our first form group here, well, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of these labels. You can leave them there if you want to. I'm just going to actually delete the labels just in case I want to put something in there later. So here's our first one, here's our second one, here's our button. So just before our first one there I want to write something but I still want it within this form here so let's give it h2 I should think heading 2 for those who have been following along you know that headings start h1 down to h6 h1 being the largest by default and h6 being the smallest and you really only want to use h1 tags for your main titles so what do we want to write in here something about specials I guess sign up for coupons and specials I suppose and inside if we look back at our site I'm not going to save this just yet these are called placeholders and I want that to say I don't want it to say Jane Doe so I want it to say name or something like that your name and your email so let's change those so if we look down here here's the placeholder let's put your name let's put a capital Y on there and your email Okay, that's going to work. Now, before I save again, let's have a look. See, we've got a dark background here, so I want to make that that text light. That H2. So I want to target specials H2 and make that light. So let's save this. Control S and go to our custom CSS. Just drop down one and dot specials and h2 was what we wanted to target so we'll open and close some curly brackets and we want to give it a color of white which is fff hashtag fff well, it's actually fff fff but whenever there's six of the same you just need to put three in let's save that Make sure everything's saved, no dots up there. Back to our site. Do a refresh and see what we've got now. There we go, that's kind of looking for what we want. But what I want to do is put a bit of space in there, a bit of space in there. And I think I'd like to make that button an outline button. So let's go back to our index.html and I know that uh, at the moment we've got 
a primary button that's why it's that blue color and I know Bootstrap 4 has got some great new classes of buttons they're called outline buttons so I want to call ours outline and I want it to be a light color I could leave it as primary and then it would be a blue color but I want it to be white so I'm going to call it outline and light so let's just delete that outline dash light and uh, let's save that um, let's go back to the site and just see what we want to do with the padding here okay so what I want is I want to put some padding left on that a bit, a bit of space padding left on that I can't put padding on the button because it will just make it fatter so I'll put padding left and right on this one which will give it a little bit of space there so let's go back and on our form group we said we want padding left don't we so let's give it padding left of say three we may want to make it more or less but I think that will probably do it about right and similar thing on this one which our next group here and also I want to put padding right of three on this one because I want to push the button a little bit to the right there and I think that'll probably do it well that did slightly out of line there there we go um, let's save that oh that's that's what it actually says on the button itself let's change that to something get specials there we go now let's save this control s back to our site and refresh there we go that's pushed our inputs to the right a little bit a bit of space there and it's given us that nice outline button there which is just exactly what I wanted so there you go we've just added an inline sign up form to our bootstrap site I hope you found that useful if you have please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web design please take one of our courses below we've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers there's also some great free courses below once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.